COVID pandemic has been devastating to the whole medical ecosystem. On one hand, people are sheltering in place and isolating and trying very hard not to spread or catch an infection. But these same restrictions have been very difficult for patients with chronic diseases, for patients with epilepsy, for patients with chronic pain, for patients with neuropsychiatric illnesses that manifest in many different ways with a skyrocketing increase in depression, in obsessive compulsive disorder, in eating disorders, in drug abuse and addiction, all triggered by this unnatural uh, isolation and restrictions that have come upon us. The time is absolutely right for Bright Minds Biosciences' unique portfolio of medications. I'm a physician with specialties in pulmonary disease and critical care medicine. After a career in academics and clinical practice, I have been working in pharmaceutical industry for the past 18 years, working mainly on novel drugs, bringing hope of new therapies to patients with significant unmet clinical needs. My journey through the last couple of decades has brought me to Bright Minds Biosciences, where we stand on the cusp of an exciting new revolution in the management of neurologic disease, in pain, and in neuropsychiatric illnesses. Bright Minds is basically a natural products based company because uh, we've taken inspiration from Mother Nature to redesign uh, compounds like psilocybin present in magic mushrooms. Which, you know, structurally, I mean, the chemistry is, is very simple. It's a simple molecule. But what it looks like is it looks like serotonin, which is one of the most abundant of the neurotransmitters present in the human brain. It was used to treat a variety of maladies, including depression. Uh, but unfortunately, during the, the battle against drugs and all of the, the stuff that was going on with drug wars and you know, insidious, very insidious drugs like cocaine, psilocybin became stigmatized. And maybe it shouldn't have because it actually is a very useful medicine. We tried before with psychedelics, but somehow the message got lost with or conflated with the messengers. And maybe it was that that stopped the advancement of psychedelics and a fear of the unknown, a fear of losing control of one's mind. I think as human beings, we all realize that even if your body goes, as long as your mind is intact, that's what keeps us apart. That's what makes us special as a species. Psilocybin is a great compound. It's the first generation of its class. It has uh, shown us the way, it's shown us a glimpse of the path we have to go forward to develop actual drugs to treat patients. These compounds that come from nature, while potent, are unrefined. They uh, attack a disease. Uh, it's like hammering in a nail with a sledgehammer when what you need is very precision tools. What Bright Minds has is leveraging on that experience and bringing it forward to very focused, targeted therapies that are useful in disease. Bright Minds has two types of compounds. One of these chemotypes is the subject of a worldwide allowed patents, which came uh, from the University of Illinois of Chicago. I'm the inventor of that along with a couple of my students and Brian Roth as well. So we in licensed that patent from the University of Illinois Chicago. That chemotype is, you know, for someone who just looks at a picture of a compound, they would say, yeah, that doesn't look like psilocybin. So it has some elements. It has a basic nitrogen like psilocybin or serotonin has, uh, but it's different. 
So that's one chemotype. But then we came up with some psilocybin analogs that are actually based on a structure of psilocybin itself. And there we filed uh, two provisional patents. Um, and those compounds are being built now. And they're being studied now, assays, by John McCorby uh, at the Wisconsin College of Medicine uh, in Milwaukee. So these compounds, which have the psilocybin structure, just have a, another piece of decoration on them, okay, which factors out this 5-HT2B activity. So they do not have 2B activity, they don't have the heart valve disease problem but they retain the 2A and the 2C activity, which is important for antidepressant effects, for example, or the psychedelic experience. And there are ways we can further manipulate that structure to change the trip time that such compounds will have, because we can build in, again, through the right decorations, a way that these compounds get metabolized more quickly by the body. So they're not gonna be around as long. Bright Minds Biosciences has assembled a team of top-notch drug developers, chemists, discovery scientists, and clinicians to bring forward the next generation of brain drugs into the clinic. I got a BS uh, in chemistry from the University of Michigan in Ann Arbor. Went on, uh, because I got tired of the cold weather in the Midwest, decided I wanted to go to California for my PhD work. So. I uh, chose to go to Berkeley, University of California, Berkeley, and I did my PhD work there with uh, a very famous professor, uh, Bill Dalvin. And um, after finishing uh, my PhD work uh, in organic chemistry at Berkeley, I went on uh, to do postdoctoral studies with uh, Professor E.J. Corey at Harvard University. Uh, there I again worked on uh, organic synthesis, uh, later on, probably about 10 years after I finished my uh, postdoctoral studies uh, with uh, Professor Corey, uh, he actually won the Nobel Prize. And uh, from there I went on to start my own career, uh, working as a professor for about 40 plus years at a number of universities. Gideon Shapiro and I are the key uh, medicinal chemists for the Bright Minds Company and we've, you know, have decades of experience in designing drugs, true uh, FDA uh, approved type of drugs that can be taken through the drug discovery process and into the clinic, into uh, man after proving that these compounds are safe and efficacious. We recruited John McCorvey, who is a brilliant pharmacologist. He's, he's at the Wisconsin College of Medicine in Milwaukee. So I would say that uh, John is an upcoming young star in the psychedelic, uh, serotonergic uh, uh, field of, of uh, pharmacology and, and biology. Uh, so John is nearby. He's actually uh, running all of our uh, assays on new chemical entities that we produce. At the University of Milan, we have uh, Giulio Bistoli, who is a molecular modeling expert. So he actually can, using you know, fancy computers, he can dock the small molecules that we create in our brains or on paper. Uh, so we can see how these molecules fit to the receptor. And this gives us then, by looking at that image, we get nice ideas about, oh, if I add this group here or this atom here, I can improve the binding affinity or selectivity. So he's also a key member of, of the Bright Minds team. And then, of course, we have a chief medical officer, uh, Reviti. Uh, she's based out of uh, San Francisco area, Palo Alto. Uh, so she is uh, a key person in terms of the clinical design of you know, how we're going to treat the patients with, with these drugs. We plan to develop one of our compounds to treat cluster headaches and to prevent episodic cluster headaches. In fact, our mechanism of action of blocking the serotoninergic response to pain and using the serotonin system to modify our response to pain is really important. The NIH has selected Bright Minds as one of the partner companies for the very innovative uh, 
new pain drugs program and they are going to be evaluating our drug in all these models. What Bright Minds has done with its unique and exciting chemistry is to develop this novel portfolio of compounds that with very great precision can target certain abnormalities in neurocircuitry that lead to abnormal behaviors that lead to, say, worsening of depression, worsening of binge eating, worsening of obsessive compulsive disorder, worse in the sense of uh, post-traumatic stress. So each of these treatments can be targeted with one of Bright Minds Biosciences compounds. And I'm so excited to bring my depth of experience working on a diverse range of therapeutic areas to this company to make sure that these drugs are developed and see the light of day and bring their utility to patients. However, Big Pharma has not really capitalized on this. Most of the research dollars today are spent on oncology and rare genetic diseases, and now most recently on uh, COVID vaccines and antivirals. But we cannot wait for another crisis to start spending uh, research dollars on neuropsychiatry. That is why Bright Minds has decided to advance its portfolio of unique compounds today, now in 2020.